All right guys, in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on my Galaxy S3, and I'm gonna show you guys how to update to the newest Twerp recovery, um, and also make an Android back backup with that, so that you can restore your phone if you ever need to. So, um, first thing you're gonna have to do is you're obviously gonna have to have your phone already with root permission, and you're gonna have to have an unlocked bootloader to do this, okay? So, unlock bootloader and root permission. Um, so what we're going to do actually, so we're going to go into, well, let me just show you guys what I'm running here on this device really quick first. So right here we're on Android version 4.1.2. This is the Verizon version of the Galaxy S3. So you can see that information right there. And then um, I do have root with SuperSue, this application right here. So you can see that that's working. And what we're going to do to up, update to the newest Twerp recovery is we're gonna go into well let's go into Google Play Play Store and we're gonna download this application right here it's called Goo Manager I've already downloaded it so I'm gonna go ahead and open it and then um, this has a lot of good information in here one of the things that's really nice is it has this reboot recovery button so instead of powering off pushing your button combination and getting into recovery you can just reboot to recover right there you can also use this to flash ROMs, download ROMs, Google applications, everything it, it does a lot here, it's kind of like a um, ROM manager or ROM toolbox in that kind of aspect but if you want to update, if you're on Clockwork My Recovery or you're on an old version of Twerp you can do this and it will replace it with the newest version of Twerp Recovery, Team Win Recovery Project. So you just right here, you sit, you hit uh, Install Open Recovery or Recovery Script. And you press that. Now I got, I just like so to show you that I got to that by hitting Menu down here, and it comes up with that option. So that's how you get to it. And then you say Yes, and it's going to look for the recovery. What it's going to do is it's going to go on to Goo Manager, and it's going to download. Um, the recovery image and then it's going to flash it to your recovery partition and then when you reboot you will be in the new recovery so I'm just going to let this run once it's done installing it's just going to be running this little script right here just let it finish up when it's done I'm going to show you guys the next step here alright so just uh, downloaded that and installed that uh, new recovery image um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and show you. I like to use this versus the buttons, just so much easier. Go ahead and hit this re reboot recovery. Say yes to reboot recovery. And it's going to boot back up. Now you saw that really quick, that little flash. And then you saw in the top, you should have seen the little blue that says it's going to boot into recovery. So right after this screen here, your uh, boot screen, your, there's Torp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. And we're going to go ahead and make our first Nandroid backup. So I'm going to hit backup, and I like to backup everything, so just check everything. Um, right now I'm set up to backup to my micro SD card, which is where I want to make my backups. Then I'm going to set the name. So I'm on stock right now, so I'm just going to call this uh, 4.1.2 stock. And put the date in. 5-25-213 and hit go and there's your backup name up there on the top and then all you gotta do is swipe across to uh, start the backup and here we go so the backup's gonna probably take you up to 10 minutes to run so I'm gonna let this thing run make sure you have good battery life before you start in this process um, we'll let this backup run and then wrap it up Right, while this thing is making a backup, guys, I just want to point out right here that this is the newest version, at least at this time, of Team One Recovery Project right there. We're on V2.5.00. Um, so that's what we just installed through Goo Manager. Uh, just So just to point that out there so you guys see that. Like I say, we're still running our backup. So give it up to a good 10 minutes, maybe even more, depending on how much data and apps you guys have installed on your device. Um, so there you go. Just so, just so you guys know, that's what we just updated. We updated that version right there. And if you had Clockwork My Recovery in, it just replaced it and put Twerp in. So if you just want to try out Twerp Recovery, I really like using it. Alright guys, here you go. This thing uh, just finished our backup. So at this point, you guys can just hit Reboot System now, and you will have created your Android backup. But let me just show you guys, if you go back, back out of this. So let's say you have a problem with your device. 
and uh, you flash a ROM and everything's messed up it won't boot so you'd power off the device maybe pull the battery um, put it back in do your home button volume up and power and get back into torque recovery you'll be able to do that even though the ROM isn't booting or the phone isn't booting correctly then all you gotta do is hit restore sorry I went into screensaver hit restore I have two files in here I just picked did a restore yesterday and then there's the restore I just did today on the 25th so you just hit restore and then you swipe across and restore it and bam you'll be back exactly to the way your phone was when you did that backup so real real nice to have this um, and that will get you back on track and then you could try a different ROM or do whatever you want to do stay like that um, sometimes I'll try ROMs I won't like them I'll just go back to my stock or whatever so that's that's the whole sweet thing about Torp Recovery or any recovery system for that matter uh, is the Android backups you can create right there with your restore your backup and then your restore buttons uh, so there you go, that's how to update to Torp Recovery, newest version, or replace Clockwork Wild Recovery, whichever. Um, how to make an Android backup on there. So that's it, guys. That's my little quick tutorial on this information right here. Hope you guys liked it. Hope it was helpful for you guys. Uh, as always, you guys can check me out right here at RootJunkie.com. Updating this website daily. It's got great Android stuff on there, lots of information, downloads, all kinds of goodies. Um, follow me over here at Facebook or Twitter, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'm going to reboot this sucker and uh, get back into my system. So, here we go.